if you take a look here, there's quite a bit of dirt on the floor, and you could tell that the flood water has come up into some of the cabinets and even the dishwasher. Uh, so before you start uh, doing any work with the food and the utensils, you really have to clean up quite a bit any of the sinks and the food contact surface areas and the floors. Now what you need to remember is your sanitizer will not be effective as long as there is quite a bit of dirt. The first thing to do is to clean up the dirt very, very good because this would tend otherwise to bind the sanitizer and you would not kill, get a kill effect. Uh, with such a sense of loss, one of the things that people might uh, tend to do is to try to save as much food as possible. And we really don't want to encourage this because uh, a lot of the food uh, may be contaminated. Uh, the rule of thumb in food safety is, if in doubt, throw it out. And uh, all the food that was in here that came in contact with flood waters has been dumped. Just throw it away, don't attempt to save it, uh, don't follow any uh, cleaning or, or whatever. Uh, you could see there are potatoes here uh, that have come in touch with flood waters. There are some tomatoes. There are some open containers of uh, different things, flour and sugar. All of this that had come in contact with flood water has to be thrown away. This cupboard had food that did not come in contact with the flood water. It did not come up that high. However, some of the foods are in open containers. And since we have to assume the flood water had sewage in it, uh, and some microbes are carried through the air, uh, anything that was in an open container should be thrown away. Uh, even products that were partially opened, uh, even if the safety is not seriously compromised, the quality is already uh, has deteriorated quite a bit, and you don't want to eat this product. We found out that the flood water had gone into the dishwasher and the dishwasher was full. Uh, one thing you want to check out before starting your dishwasher, make sure that the water service has been restored and the sewage system is uh, running OK. Uh, now, everything that was in here has touched the flood water, so it needs either to be thrown away or disinfected. Uh, things made of rubber, plastic, and wood, uh, like this item, cannot be sanitized effectively because the microbes hide in small pores in there. Things like this have to be thrown away. Again, wood, plastic, rubber, uh, dishes with severe cracks in them. All the other items, uh, things that can be taken apart, need to be taken apart. All the others have to be washed in clean, hot water uh, with a detergent and Again, they need to be sanitized following the guidelines that we talked about before. That is putting in a solution of liquid chlorine, two tablespoons of liquid chlorine solution per gallon of water. And then you do not dry these with a cloth. You let them air dry.